American explorer Victor Vescovo descended nearly 11 kilometers into the Mariana Trench and the new species that were discovered, some really fascinating creatures. The dark mysteries of the Mariana Trench. The first thing that may not come to mind when you think of the Mariana Trench is diving. After all, the trench is one of the hardest places on earth to investigate and is more than a mile deep. One of the ocean's deepest regions, the Mariana Trench is home to some of the most puzzling and enigmatic animals on the planet. Additionally, some of the largest and most deadly earthquakes in recorded history have occurred in these ominous depths. Do you want to know more about the Mariana Trench? What happens there? Make sure to watch the entire video. The Mariana Trench was initially discovered in 1875 by the British crew of HMS Challenger, after which Challenger Deep was named, and then again with greater precision by the crew of HMS Challenger 2 in 1951. Since then, measurements of the trench have been taken. It is now believed to be 2,550 kilometers long and 69 kilometers wide, in addition to its astounding depth. Due to the bone-crushing pressure at the Mariana Trench's depths, humans cannot travel too far inside it. There's still much more to learn, even though researchers and oceanographers constantly explore new methods to collect this data. In this video, we shall investigate what life is like in one of the most distant regions of the deep sea, where there are secrets as vast as the ocean. Please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel for more stuff before we continue. Click the bell icon to sign up for new video alerts. Have you already executed it? Let's continue. History. The Mariana Trench is a crescent-shaped star in the Earth's crust that is more than 1,500 miles 2,550 kilometers long and an average of 43 miles 69 kilometers wide. It is situated in the western Pacific east of the Philippines and an average of about 124 miles 200 kilometers east of the Mariana Islands. Nearly seven miles separate the ocean's surface from the Challenger Deep, the trench's deepest point. Located roughly 200 miles, 322 kilometers southwest of the U.S. island of Guam, 11 kilometers. The peak of Mount Everest would still be submerged for more than a mile, 1.6 kilometers, if it were lowered into the Mariana Trench. As part of the first global oceanographic trip, the first British ship HMS Challenger explored the Mariana Trench for the first time in 1875. Using a weighted sounding rope, the Challenger scientists measured a depth of 4,475 fathoms or nearly 5 miles or 8 kilometers. With an echo sounder, the British ship HMS Challenger 2 returned to the area in 1951 and determined a depth of about 7 miles, 11 kilometers. As part of the Marianas Trench Marine National Monument created by President George W. Bush in 2009, the bulk of the Mariana Trench is now a U.S. protected area. The United States Fish and Wildlife Service has permitted research to be conducted within the monument, including the Serena Deep. Federated States of Micronesia permissions have been obtained for research in the Challenger Deep. The Mariana Trench is home to more life than you might imagine, despite its appearance as a gloomy dead pit. In 2016, the Okinos Explorer vessel of NOAA conducted a deep water search in the area and discovered a variety of living forms, including coral, jellyfish, and octopus species. The most recent research also discovered that 17% of the photos of plastic stored in the database revealed some interaction between marine life and the plastic, such as when creatures become tangled in the trash. In the Western Pacific Ocean, southeast of the Mariana Islands is a deep ocean trench known as the Mariana Trench. Although the very lowest area to have been precisely measured, known as Challenger Deep, lies at 10,911 meters below the surface of the water, its deepest point is roughly 11,034 meters below that level. The Challenger Deep is now the deepest spot on the ocean floor that is currently known. The trench's climate is diverse and occasionally harsh, ranging from the ocean surface to the shadowy depths underneath. It comprises sulfur and carbon dioxide releasing bubble pockets in the floor and active mud volcanoes. The temperature is between 1 to 4 degrees Celsius and there is no light at the bottom of the trench. However, life can still survive under extreme darkness and pressure. The water pressure at the bottom is more than 1,071 times that of sea level. Japanese oceanographers collected a mud sample from Challenger Deep that included 200 different species of microorganisms, including different kinds of minute plankton and shells. The most prevalent organisms in the trench are single-celled saucer-sized xenophyophores that consume sediment. Additionally, there are small sea cucumbers known as holothurians and amphipods, which are giant scavengers that resemble shrimp. 
Larger species such as the Hadolf snailfish, a tiny pink and entirely scaleless species discovered surviving at depths of over 8200 meters, have also been found to exist within the trench at astonishing depths, 27,000 feet. It's the deepest fish ever discovered on the seafloor, with skin so transparent that you can see right through to its liver. The deep sea dragonfish, a predator with enormous fangs that dwarf its body, likewise dwells in depths of 213 to 1828 meters. Scientists have discovered deep water jellyfish, zombie worms, and dumbo octopuses between those two. Only three divers have ever explored the Challenger Deep, despite thousands of humans having scaled Mount Everest, the highest point on Earth. In a U.S. Navy submersible, Jacques Picard and Navy Lieutenant Don Walsh made the first voyage to the Challenger Deep in 1960. Due to the intense pressure, they could only stay there for 20 minutes, and their arrival churned up too much seabed dust for them to capture any images. The following visitor only appeared 50 years later, in 2012, when science fiction enthusiast and filmmaker James Cameron solo dived into the Challenger Deep in a submarine he created. Three hours were allotted to Cameron there. Moreover, as a Hollywood filmmaker, he recorded videos and took many pictures. However, the high pressure harmed his equipment, Batteries ran out, sonar stopped working, and some of his ship's thrusters broke down, making it difficult to maneuver. How did the Mariana Trench form? The Western Pacific seafloor is among the world's oldest at 180 million. Thin plates floating on the molten rock make up this old crust mantle. These plates occasionally collide, causing one to fall into the mantle while other ones rise to the top. Subduction is the process involved, and the movement results in the formation of trenches, volcanoes, earthquakes, and tsunamis. The Mariana Trench located in this subduction zone was formed by the collision of the Mariana Plate and the Pacific Plate. Although it seems simple enough, subduction at the Mariana Plate has been happening for more than 50 million years. Researchers believe the Mariana Plate's separation from the Philippine Plate caused this trench's arc-shaped development. The Mariana Islands, which are made up of active and dormant volcanoes, are the result of the formation of the Mariana Microplate, which inexorably collides with the Pacific Plate. Scientists predict that the Mariana Microplate will eventually dissolve even though this system is still expanding. What lives at the bottom of the Mariana Trench? Animals found in the Mariana Trench include xenophyophores, amphipods, and tiny sea cucumbers, holothurians, all of which are found at the bottom of the deepest depression in the ocean. In order to survive in the full darkness and high pressure of these depths, animals must eat lower level organisms or substances known as methane or sulfur. Researchers looked at the species captured on the 2012 James Cameron expedition. Unfortunately, there is not much evidence to go on because researching the deep oceans is so dangerous. The potential for new species is enormous because more than 80% of the ocean is uncharted. One of the ocean's deepest regions is the Mariana Trench, which also is one of the most enigmatic. The film has given you some understanding of what lurks beneath this unsettling location. I'm looking forward to learning more in upcoming articles on this intriguing subject because it is obvious that this site is hiding some incredible mysteries that are just waiting to be discovered. Today's video has come to an end. If you liked this video, subscribe to the channel and give it a thumbs up. Remember to click the bell icon to get alerts when new videos are posted. I will see you in the upcoming video. Bye for now.